Hi, so someone asked me if I would do a tutorial on the butterfly that I painted today. Um, it's just a split cake butterfly. Um, I don't use sponges anymore to do my butterflies. Um, I find this faster and kind of more uh, like got that wow factor. So here we go. So I use whatever, I use a, two really co contrasting split cakes. The two I used, one was from Krivelin. It's a dark red, hot pink, and a yellow. And the other one is a really deep blue from Global. Global, it's like dark blue, light blue, and white. So I use, I think this is a one inch, three quarter inch brush, real flat. I like the short bristled ones as opposed to like the long bristled ones. These, I feel like I can control them better. So let me get some of this paint. All right, so I like to do the light towards the bottom because then you can, um, when you put your other color on, it doesn't get as muddied and there's a good contrast. Let me get this mirror out. So I start, you want to do 45 degree angles. That's the most flattering angle. So I start down here. I hope you can see this. Go up, give it a little wiggle, pull down, and then I do that again. Starting next to the other one. I like to do this one a little smaller than that one kind of shorter in there and then this one I do a little bigger again Maybe just pull it down I'm just gonna do one side so you get the idea so then I wash my brush off really well let that make sure the top part is completely dry out you're gonna smudge and get your colors all muddied up I'm gonna get this blue they need to be contrasting colors otherwise they just kind of look all muddied um, this blue on here I'm gonna do the dark again towards the top to contrast with that light yellow and it's basically the same process but you're going to do them smaller and then one right here and one right here and do the bottom ones whoops and then i really just cover their eyelids kind of with this same color as these bottom wings so and take it down into the corner of their eye a little bit like that and they're all going to turn out different. This one looks a little different than the one I did, but I'm going to use that pink color again to do the bottom to show you the bottom. So light color in the center. And I like to kind of go out at a curve. Do like one bigger one. And then another small one. And I like to take it up, you know, like to their eyelid. I'm going to add another little one right here so it's wider. And then the blue, same thing, dark toward the outside. Sometimes you can only fit a few in this center part. So that's the basic deal with the one strokes. I'm going to go back in here and get some more white on these because I don't, there wasn't enough white. Just to break that up a little bit so there's that um my line work I start with white this is a number four round brush I like to really load my brush up with white because these outside bright colors are going to turn your white and I like it to be kind of thick but not dry because they're going to turn your white the color that the outside bright color is I always start with a teardrop, a long teardrop on my butterflies and all the way down. And then I lay this down and I give it kind of a big squiggle and then maybe another big squiggle and bring it down until you're all the way at the point. And then do that again on all the other ones. And then do the same, oops, long teardrop, Some big squiggles, big squiggles, drag that all the way in, and then we're going to do the same thing with the blue. This is global blue and it bleeds through the white really bad, so I try and stay on the outside edges. Um, I always like to add 
some swirls and like teardrops and peacock feather type things. So drag and drop. And a couple little dealios down there. And then to finish up the bottom, I always feel like it looks so naked. So I do a few teardrops down here. Let's pull that in there. Um, the last thing that I did, oh, well, there's two things I did. Um, next thing is another contrasting color and I'm using yellow, but you could use orange or green. I just like the way the yellow looks on this pink color and things always look good in odd numbers. I like to make sure those are really opaque. And then maybe just a cup, like one more little cluster like that. And then I do a couple at the bottom. Like that. And then the black line work and black. I like to outline my butterflies. I feel like it makes them feel like finished um, wherever I have the edges of their wings. So I hope you guys can see me do this. I'm a lefty, so this is going to cover this up, but let's see. I don't go all the way down to the bottom. I start real thin and kind of follow the same type of motion, a little thicker on the top. Bring it down. Woo! It's a really professionally done video. A little thicker at the top. I also outline the inside ones. I try to skip over those yellow dots so that I don't cover them up. Now make sure you're outlining around all those great bumps you made because that's really what gives that outside really cool shape. And then if I feel fancy, I'll do the outside edge of these. I don't know if I did that in the other one. Avoid those little yellow dots. And then, so make these pop. I kind of outline the top edges of them. Like that. Wherever you can happen to find them, because sometimes they get lost. Like that. And that's pretty much it. Um, and the one with my daughter, I think I did some like white and black little swirlies out here and I just mixed it with white and black I did some white ones too all right there you go that's the basic thing in a quick um, little tutorial you could also and I do this too this area feels really naked to me sometimes so you can add some dots or whatever but I like the teardrop look just because it kind of looks wingy I guess when you put them on there so you could my eyebrows are a mess just fill that in kind of and make sure they're all going the same direction those are kind of sloppy but that's the basic idea and that's how I do all my butterflies now with two contrasting um flipping split cakes